Let's just know uh, we're all gonna die. I'm gonna die. Everyone in this room that is actively chatting will someday die. We will be replaced by new souls. Our souls are only valued for our belief system. So you gotta believe you got what it takes. I haven't seen you, bro, in this chat room for two fucking years, homie. Fucking sad ass shit, you know? Every other month you're living at a different place. You know, I'm asking myself, like, what the fuck? I need to get your equipment back, man. Get it back, bro. Fuck into a computer screen, man. This, this bro had a popcorn machine. He held like bar stools. Got like pink carpets. He had some cool ass hats. He had like, he was happy living on the couch. Oh, uh, that ain't you, man. Cool ass eyes. Your white supremacist ass on eBay and order some shit, homie. Anyway, yo, eBay and uh, like smoking in your name for 10 minutes plus. Ugh, that was creepy. people now. I can't believe I finished over half this bottle, man. Incredible, and I don't even drink. Shit. I don't even drink. Look what I drank today. This bottle was full, man. And then, yo, I drink like a quarter of another bottle. Feeling good. I ain't drunk. What's wrong with me, yo? Any day, I would drink like two sips and I'd be out. It's amazing how fast <clears throat> this shit work. Yeah? I'm amazed by alcohol. <clears throat> really new to it. This year has basically been the first year that I started drinking. Because I figured how much of a benefit it is in my life. <laughs> I mean, like, I open up visually, mentally, and physically with alcohol. And since I'm a public speaker, I'm like, damn, you know, got to incorporate that into my life. I don't like being drunk. I hate the feeling of being useless. I hate the feeling of that I'm not in control. My sobriety. I hate the feeling that I'm out of control. But like, I know my limits to where enough is enough. You know, I can talk on the phone drinking, sure, but I can't drink and drive. No, I can't go outside. Probably could, but you know, it's recommended I don't. Uh, I mean, yeah, I know the bullshit that I don't forget. <laughs> gone too far down this road just to not give a shit anymore you know 40 fucking years 41 years be reckless with my life that was seven years ago when i was reckless with my life that ended seven years ago i haven't done one reckless thing to myself in seven years like that that's incredible i used to be like on suicide watch every week i, I had nothing and look what i have now man like that's that's a huge accomplishment so fuck what you say fuck what you say you know that's a huge accomplishment to shit that i've been through i don't need your opinion if you're gonna speak get back in your car please autograph's gonna cost you other 15 bucks if you're gonna open like that. <laughs> Incredible, man. You sit in this, in this room, you know? It's beautiful, man. Beautiful. Everything about this is beautiful, man. Everything right here is beautiful. There 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 you go. It's taking a lot of work. Get here. <clears throat> Oh, let me add on to our previous conversation. I believe. Yeah, 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 man. There are some drugs that aren't for certain people, and I decided to opt out of the mental drugs uh, because now we live in Colorado, so weed really does help my mental state quite a bit. And I ain't gotta be tied to a gurney listening to my thoughts. Where now I listen to them and they put me to work. So I use my voices in my head to my advantage. And what are voices? Our voices thoughts? Our thoughts voices. What are they? Uh you know, someone claimed that I used to hear voices. And I think it's even documented. So wouldn't I be a great example to explain to you what a hearing a voice is and when I was in my disarranged state I was looking to give you the answer you weren't looking for so it wasn't really up my nose the drugs that you gave me turn shit off they don't enhance your life they allow you to be tolerable around other people otherwise you're just annoying because no one ever taught you how to correctly drive drive your body 70 years on life and you still can't drive you know maybe I'm being critical here but I, I think we all have control like I don't think there is a person or even a cat dog in existence that just lost all control and just can't, I, 
I have a hard time believing I understand that we can develop psychological issues from the people we meet and previous experiences may equal to PTSD may have been the worst moment of your life and every time I smoke weed I get PTSD of how much inflammation that may cause me it's not a problem it's inflammation I get PTSD when I look at porn and, and my dick gets big I have a traumatic experience every time I have to sit and watch a transgender show. I, f I, I, I feel like I start to lose control when I am around certain, certain things, certain nonsense. Now, you know, you've been programmed to believe this way and, you know, it is what it is is this is who you are now and we're all the ones paying for your fun and games because we can't tell it anymore and you become so good at your craft like i have with my freestyles it's just second nature man it's like we are all mind effing we're all mind fucking somebody and that's the biggest secret of all we all keep secrets. Who is mine fucking who? Path. I'm trying to lead you down a path with bad information. The information I know is scary that I've learned over the past uh, 10 years from just, I'm well read in every subject. So, I mean, so this is a good job. All right, so let's continue our, we got our bowl here. I carry this over to my bed with me. So I do smoke right next to my bed. I'm learning not to, because I realize how dirty it is. And here we have a, a, a air filter. And if you see it up there, it's up there in the corner. See. Yeah, you see it right by the light. You see that little white thing attached to the ceiling? Um, that thing recycles air. So it pulls in, that thing's a carbon filter, and it cleans it. And then the return blows it back in here. So that's why you never see that smoke. This moment I smoke, it's destined for that up there. So this room is, has been nice to me. All right, so let's begin our day here. I was told that if you smoke weed, and I just went to a different store here, you notice how I got a piece of bread crumb in there. Let's see, I got a piece of bread crumb in there. Well, this thing, this, keeps my weed, like, sticky. Because this stuff was fragile and broken and could break. But this gives it, like, a spongy feeling again. So it actually keeps my weed burning longer. It begins with one where I was going through an eighth of a weed every day because it was so dry. So if you put a piece of bread in with your stash, it will, uh, will make it nice again. All right, so today's LGCD 438.6. There are nine, 10 sessions in a what we call a season. And this is how we keep track of it better. Instead of just one day being an individual recording, we group it into 10. So 10 recordings, once it gets up to 0 0.9, we start over from 0 to 0.9, so let's keep 10. It's just easier to track of. Otherwise, I'll probably hit 1,000 recordings real soon. So I, today, I, my plan is to show you exactly how this is done. And I'm going to show you if you have this equipment. Like, I, there's probably 100 ways to do this. This is the, the way that I found that works. You could use any um, synthesizer, I said that right, uh, sample base. So this thing is a random MIDI generator. And I was looking for one of these for years. It basically puts my keyboard out of order, man. So this thing will replace my 88 keyboard. Still haven't found a good replacement for the drums. But we will be using still Blockways app on iOS to record my loops here. So I can bring back and pull it up if I want to. And also we're going to be recording the two of them together. And that's what we will pull up to in our editor or in Virtual DJ to make our 128 bar, sometimes 200 bar loops. We do good with it. So we use the current tools that are out available today. You can do the same exact thing. If you can learn how to invest in beats, because here's the thing. It's much better than investing in stock markets. It's much better than mutual funds. Because you're banking on yourself. You're banking on the quality that you provide. And you make it once and pay on it forever. 70 years past your death, will you get paid? You no, know, explain to me any other way to make a buck that pays you 70 years after your death. So potentially, if you started this when you were young, you could get, get paid a uh, 120 years for something you did 50 years ago. You, you know, you could, at least your kids will be secure. And that, that's why this 300 album goal is so huge. Because I do see royalties coming in every day. I appreciate all of you who will be buying my stuff while listening to it. I appreciate you. I really do. Because if it wasn't for you, I'd still have a job, but it wouldn't be as fun. You know, I'd be doing this regardless whether I made money or not. But I found a way to make money doing something I love. Now I'm going to teach you guys to do it. So I guess you need two iPads. You need a good mixer, you need a good sequencer, you need a, uh, something like an iConnect MIDI, you need a bunch of stuff, but that should get you going. So let's pick it. Yeah, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? We've been making music that quick. I'm a genius. That's what the bitches say as they have an orgasm. Can you believe me that I'm all that? I'm even nice and puffy like a sack of potato chips. Hey, boy. Yeah, get it. Is that me? Yes, you're bleeding through somehow. Where did that come from? Does anyone know? Oh, we recorded it through here. Oh, shit, I see. We take that off. Oops, there we are. Yeah, that's a bad one. Oh, we missed it up though. Yeah, come on. 
<clears throat> I'll check myself out there for a second. That's all. I must be ghosting here. I realized. I recorded it. Welcome to Trade Wind Studios, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I call a random MIDI generator. You're looking up right up there. Those two boxes. One's this one. The other one's this one. It's all random, man. And if you see this 19 up here, that is how many beats you want. So we could slow it down or speed it up at 64. We'll do a solo. And we got our sequencer over here. Sequencer is a box that contains a whole bunch of sounds. Sound like instruments. So we just push a button. Let's get the next one. Or the channel. Control eight things with this. Oh, so we can also uh, load them up. Boom. Six to five bars. <clears throat> Try to get most of the sound packs I had. Uh, symbols. I really had enough with that ear piercing shit. The ears just started ringing on stop. So I was like, man, I gotta dull this down a bit. So I changed everything to 48 kilohertz to 44.1. That does wonders. Then I was doing some mess around with some more sampling. And I was like, man, 32. If I could down sample my voice to 32 kilohertz, that would just sound awesome. If you listen to high quality too long, we both And it, we did good, didn't we? We still sound like high quality. I mean, we could play this all day, right? Just have this on a random note over here. Yeah, we got beats all freaking day, man. I just need to get a good bass sound going on. It's the same. You can see. I hear you can see. You can change to any level. Do that. Just kind of tight. I want to learn about this riffer. I'm showing you guys, man, the future of music. I'm all into technology. And I'm all into giving my style. This is how I give it. Somewhere in this unlimited, randomized. I mean, notice it just goes on and on and on. Later on, figure we're going to play it in virtual DJ to grab our six, our, you know, 128 bars, whatever it is, to make our loop. It doesn't sound so stale. You realize that, that I'm not getting bored with this. I like music. But it's dynamic. This iOS riffer, I recommend it. You are. I mean, it's, it's not a music app by itself. It's more of an extension to your hardware. You're gonna have hardware. So if you have something that can transform MIDI over the air, like Wi-Fi, like I got a MIDI Connect, take Wi-Fi signal 4, hard put it in there for less delay, and it transfers that to hardcore MIDI. So I can plug in any MIDI sampler. Like we got this Elisa drum machine down here. I could have this. I only got two things. But this thing, think of it as like your piano. Think of it as a replacement for your piano. This thing now controls these boxes. It's pretty tight. <clears throat> you got all kinds of things up here. I'm a fan of the Japanese. The Japanese and the Persian depends on the style I'm in. Mean, those are my two favorites so far. And what I've learned about this box is, is you see this, this button right here. Of course, it's 64 up here. I don't know if you can see it. But um, I guess that's how many things you want to play. But we're, we're only doing 16 loops. We can do longer. But down here in our record session, we only got 16. So at any given time, like I did, I mean, it's recording a new sample for me. See that? That is just been made. I, I could call it mine. I'm not recording the MIDI signal. Although I could and replay it back in, uh, into anything else you want, but you can even get that technical. Like you record your MIDI signal, play it back uh, to some other note. Oh, damn, I messed that up. That's nice. I like the slow stuff, man. Maybe the snare, we could do something else besides that. I, I don't like that shit anymore. I like it, but we've done 20 albums of that percussion shit. I'm done with it, man. I don't like it at all. I, I want to avoid. That's pretty nice. Now we're on a different one. We get a, man, look at that. Check it out. We got some amazing stuff. Always. Always. Towards your direction. Always, man. I'm hot. It's real hot in here. There's no reason it needs to be this hot. I think it's turned off up there because we were smoking weed. Um. I might stop for today. I thought we were done, but we kept on going. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. 
Well, it's been a wonderful time, you know, like we could, we could continue mixing. Like this is a good style. Uh, I have to find, cause we've been working hard on our craft here. I know where these are at. I don't. Oh, there, there's one. All right. Out of this funk, I won't see it. I'll be like, yeah, 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 whatever. I was, I was just emotional that day. I'll make up some excuse of why I was going to like no more, man. No more excuses for myself. No more draining me dry. So like, just because we got married. All right, yo. I'm trying to delete all those tracks. Sometimes it's so hard. Yeah. All right, so I, I'm just going to end the broadcast here. That's probably the easiest. Thanks for watching, man. I'll come back some other time and entertain y'all.